here to see if I can do this thing right. This morning, but I got a sinus problem, not a problem, but I think early morning, whatever I did. This morning? Yeah. Oh, shouldn't do that in front of the camera. It's not kosher. Oh! And okay. hey, look, I got a corporation thing on there. And this might be a rather, hey, Mr. Tolly, how you doing, yeah. man? I see you doing some, uh, some corporate things there, yeah. working with, uh, with, working with Google and whoever you're working with trying to fix phones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, uh, hey, well, listen. Yeah. Here's the thing. How do I start to this? There's a couple of things. Let me make some notes here. Let me start with the uh, uh, unrelated uh, Camille Kep uh, Paglia. Camille Paglia is a is a is an author of uh, academic. Uh, she came to prominence in the I guess in the 70s, but uh, um, she's an early feminist. I mean, really, you know, that, that did the real work, right? And I was I, I really I really like uh, Camille Paglia because I deal with people's brains, not with with their Images, and she's been maligned by the academic, by, by the feminists, especially the modern feminists. But here's the thing: I've and listening to her, and I've come to the thing that I've always come to this thing. This has never really been a. a it's a class thing that they put us in, but it's never been a class war that we've been dealing with. People say class war. It's always been a caste war. C A S T E. We're involved in a caste war. There's no such thing as class, especially in America. There's no such thing as class. It's caste. Okay? And I won't get into this right, maybe I'll get into it a little bit later. Oh, here's the thing. When she first came into the, the early feminist movement, it was about uh, having the same opportunities um, that, that men had, you see? Uh, and she gives all kinds of uh, uh, explanations. Maybe I'll do a link and then she gives a really good some explanation of what's, what's really happening. But, but since then, but her analysis is basically this. Uh, because of the way the structures, especially uh, the colleges and stuff like that, we're, they're trying to push everybody to a middle class. But well, what is a middle class ideal? And the middle class ideal they're talking about is the middle class of the 50s and of, of the 1950s in the United States of North America. Which middle class was different than all everything else, because the middle um, middle class was about image, is about you know aspiring to this um, whatever America is supposed to be, you know whatever it is. But also it comes with some other stuff, R rules. How do you act? You know, in proper society, you have to be prim and proper. You know, um, so it's going to be different with the classic. Uh, if you want to do films like My, My Fair Lady, you know what I mean, where you have the woman comes from the, and they just change her language and she dresses up and so she can be accepted into polite life. But whereas before she would just you know be loud and whatever like everybody else. Like in this neighborhood, you might even hear somebody yelling back and forth because that's the way it is. They don't. We, it's not like walk over to them and knock when they do or call them or something. No, no, no. You say, hey, blah, blah, morning, nah, 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 nah. that's the way it goes, okay? Mm -hmm. So what she says was lost, and the, the people the people are so timid these days. I mean, uh, uh, to give you an example, you know, they had this famous thing with some woman walking, whatever she's walking, and everybody's cat calling at her. Of course, it's a setup, it's a whatever it is. But I saw something once time. There's a um, there's a thing called a cage in New York, uh, down in um, in the Greenwich Village, uh, across from the. Cross on the way, really. Thing. It's, 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 a, it's a little, it's a basketball court that's smaller than the usual basketball. You come right out the subway, right out the, uh, the A train, uh, D train, F train stop right there, and it's right there. And I was there one time, and there was a sister, um, she could tell she was like, you know, uh, executive because she had the, 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 the skirt suit on, you know, with the thing, the thing, and she's walking past, tall sister, she's walking past. So the guy just said, and so somebody said, hey, baby, blah, 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 blah. And she, and she walked, and then she thought about it. She stopped and came back and said, and what is it you want? She said, well, I, blah, blah, She said, I don't think you could, I don't think you could f afford me. I'm blah, 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 blah. She said, blah, 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 blah. So then she, said, then she just walked away. And all the guys said, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Because that's it. It's about engagement. You're not going to fight whatever have you. So, so when these uh, people that come from... Uh, from the upper middle class, whatever they come from, and then they come and they try to uh, alter the way they go into they go into your neighborhood and they try to change you. The best way I can put it is like again down in um, uh, living down on Seventh Street. There's a um, a park there. Anyway, it, it was a little park. There. It doesn't matter. And every night, you know, the Latinos be out there. They playing drums. Black Latinos. They play. But they play. They've been doing this for years. You know, for years. Topping Square, Topping Square Park. For years. The same thing happened. Let me just, just Topping Square Park. But the um, uh, Marcus Marcus Garvey Park, which they they want to rename back to Mount Morris Park. It doesn't matter. But uh, up there in Harlem, about 124th Street on down again drumming all night okay so people with some money they want to hang out they want to you know be whatever uh, I think the, the, down Thomas Square Park it was uh, Madonna 
bought some 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 property there, and a, a, a lot of uh, stockbrokers were there, and they would complain about the drummer because they had to get up the next morning, whatever it is. Well, you knew this before you came into this neighborhood. Why you want to come and change it? And after all these years, they start changing the neighborhood. That's what gentrification does. Let me just go to my point here. So basically, Camille Packard is saying that people are just way too sensitive. They don't have this uh, this this this, this uh, first it, the, the real immigrants that came here. The, the immigrants that came through the boats are different than immigrants that, that fly here and uh, uh, or, or, or they're, they're different. Okay, um, I'm sorry, I have to bounce around because this is a, an important point I need to make. It's about Donald Trump when he did this whole border wall thing. I'm sorry. Let me let me stop that. I'll do that with another another video. So anyway, so that's what Camille's Pies is. It's way too sensitive. The, pe the people they're, they're not fighting. They're, they're not trying to fight to be equal. They have an equal opportunity to fight to have equal, you know, whatever. But it's not a, a fight to put men down. And that's what's been happening. And men are not taking it. They're just not taking it. Okay. So let me leave that for now. Next thing. There's a thing called state capture. Now, before I do state capture, there's a thing for uh, uh, getting what you wish for. Now. <laughs> All through the late 60s and the early 70s, especially with uh, uh, small groups, everybody says, well, if we get some co corporate sponsorship, they were able to want corporate sponsors, corporate sponsorship. And then finally, and it went all through the 80s, and finally, I guess in the 90s, in the 90s, we've got some corporate sponsors, but it came with, with a task. I mean, it came with some, you know, some. Attentions. Uh, yeah, some, some, some uh, attachments, some, some spider web, some, some uh, octopus kind of tentacle things, you know? I mean, uh, the, the classic example. I, I, I guess it would be, um, well, there are a lot of examples. You can figure it out, okay? Now, that's the that's, that's, that's thing. Now, uh, there's a thing, uh, let me go back. Well, there's a thing uh, we call, you know this here, that's a clothing, state capture. State capture. This, then you had the incident of state capture, the example here, they said the Guptas, this, this family from India, basically captured this state of, uh, the, the, the nation of, of Republic of South Africa, you know, through the, 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 the previous president, uh, Jacob, uh, Jacob Zuma, and this all, and this all kind of manipulations, you know, and to give for their benefit, of course, and, and Zuma's like the middleman, like the CEO, they're, they're like the, uh, what do you call it, stockholders, state and the poor people are just getting Getting, getting preyed upon, right? <laughs> Taken out of the state coffers, right? But to meet state capture is not just that. State capture is really an outside entity yeah. coming into your situation. That's the problem, okay? Now, and state capture is usually done not by individuals but by corporations or, or individuals that, that control a corporation. Right now, the United States is being captured. Oh. They're being captured by another nation. Oh. The nation is Israel. Now, I usually don't talk about Israel, mainly because the Israel the people that they can get, get confused. There's three components. There's Israel the state, state, right? There's the political, there's political, all political, political sensibilities. But one of the biggest political sensibilities, the one that started Israel, is the Zionist mentality, the oh, Zionist the situation, Zionist, right? Uh, then, of course, you have Jewish, the, the, the religion, the Hebrew or Jewish, whatever, they, whatever they're saying. These are three separate things. Right now, the, the, the Zionist mentality, or the let's call it the ultra, <laughs> not the ultra, it's almost like a parallel uh, um, uh, white supremacy kind of thing. Because those people that are Zionists, they're not the original uh, Jewish, if you want, people. Those are people with a political agenda that came in, in the, the 1800s, or whatever have you, mm -hmm. uh, that, that started their little thing, and then they, they were looking for a state, whatever have you. These are mostly uh, people who come from a European. Uh, 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 European persuasion. That they, in other words, that they have less melanin than the original Hebrews had in their skin. Like the, the Jesus Hebrews are different looking than the than the, than the uh, <laughs> Hebrews, or actually, the, you know, a different. I'm sorry, Jesus was yeah. Jesus Hebrews are different than the, than, than the uh, Christians that you see. I'm sorry, the Christians than the Jewish people you see in Israel or the Jewish people that claim to be Jewish these days. That it's a different melanin uh, content. Okay. Okay. So. What has happened is that through their efforts, and because the United States all supports them so much, that that is that Zionist strain has captured, right, the Israeli state, and the Israeli state has basically <laughs> it, uh, captures the United States. Uh, they control a lot of things. Hey, little puppy, we got a little dog here, a little doggy. Um, so, so basically, the United States, though they don't say it this way, they're in a moment of state capture by another nation that, that's controlled by a, 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 a political mentality. I'm not talking about the parties, the Likud, or whatever the party, I'm not talking about that, that, that's propelled by this, uh, by, by this uh, Zionist you know, mentality. And that started uh, a little while ago. Last thing I want to say, there's a thing called the John Birch Society. 
Now the John Birch Society, they started this after World War II, during World War II, this guy, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, somebody glorified in the mainstream called John Birch Society, and their thing is basically, basically, they want white supremacy to reign. Let's just put, I'm just gonna cut it to, to, to the chase. But one of the reasons, what they, one of the reasons they wanna do, they don't believe in government, that they don't believe in government, they don't believe in federal government. What they want, if we have a constitutional convention in the United States, what they want is they want the federal government to go away or to be limited to whatever they have it, and they want everything to be controlled more by the state governments, which means that you can have like a three or four states controlled by John Birch's, just like this, just, just like Zionist control, whatever. The, the, the John Birch's can control that, and then they have their own agenda. You know, think of the John Birch people like the Zionists, okay? So we're being state captured in the United States. Uh, uh, so, but, but, they, but then you have these people that could uh, that could control uh, corporations, right? You have the, the federal government now. Before they have their last, but they can they, the, the, the the corporations they want uh, um, things from the federal government, so they get things from the federal government that put strings attached. You see that whole thing, and so what happens is you have corporations now that will, get, will control policies that the government wants, yeah. but the government can't do it, right? So what happens? We have right now. There's a situation. Um, the uh, Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, who's, the, who's the, yeah. the, now the head of the Nation of Islam, which, is, which started under Honorable Elijah Muhammad, and it was a whole thing. And then they do a lot of good in, in, the, in the black community as far as getting people recidivism, getting people out of jail and stuff like that. But he, I mean, uh, I just take Louis Farrakhan. I know I have a whole, whole long history with Louis Farrakhan. I'm not into Louis Farrakhan. I won't get into it, but basically it has to do with Malcolm X murder and blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to get into that right now. Anyway, so I'm really not into Louis Farrakhan. But they have kicked them off of Facebook. Now, as you know, I don't do Facebook yeah. or Instagram or Twitter or nothing like that, you know what I mean? Uh, but a lot of people depend on that, but they kicked them off of, and they tried to lump him in with some other extremist kinds of people. <laughs> some people have nothing to do with, 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 with whatever, 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 you know? And so and so, so now if he defends himself, he got to defend himself with these other people that are they're nowhere near what Louis Farrakhan is doing, but they're into one thing, which is making them outside of, uh, of, 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 of rational, outside of, of the purview of, uh, of Facebook. Now, I'm not going to get this, who, remember, Facebook was run by, is, is whatever, by Zuckerberg. How do we know that Zuckerberg is not, let me know, we don't know what Zuckerberg is. But the point is, now you have these the, these things that, the, the, it's like the common, uh, the, the, what they call the, um, the town square, they say some people can't go into the town square. The last time I heard this kind of thing, is show you where it leads. Hey, baby, hey, hey, hey Gertrude. Underneath. You remember? Do you remember in uh, in in, um, in uh, it wasn't a power, but you know, in the Cape Flats, a few years about six or seven how many six or seven years ago, there was such gang violence that the community came together and they had a little meeting, right? And then the cops came to that meeting. They were violent into it, and then the cops said that the gangsters. Who were part of the community too couldn't couldn't be a part of that gang gathering. Do you remember that? And then, and then basically the cops said they couldn't be part of the gang. You don't remember that? Well, I remember that. Anyway, so what happens? They kick the gangsters out of this you know this community meeting because the cops who don't even live in the community. You know, you see, did, so they couldn't be heard. The, the criminal element that people were complaining against wanted to be heard, but the, but the authorities, if you will, kicked them out of a meeting that they should be in. This is what happens when you have a, when you have a, a thing, like, a platform like like Facebook, whatever have you. If you're not a part of that that town meeting, then they go into you'll be those 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 what they call snowflake easy, but that that whole middle class sense said, oh, you have to be proper, whatever have you. You're not represented, so you you're not so, so you're going to have a grouping that has these values of this. You see, so here, so, so here you have, you have, uh, 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 you have people looking uh, with this, with this John Birchman thing. You have, you have the, you have the Zionists. You, you have the middle class people, and then everybody else is just fighting. But then the, let me say, well, y'all can't fight. You know, this, this, this you know, Facebook says y'all can't fight. We y'all can't talk about each other. Y'all can't when I say fight. I mean verbally, you know. So now we have a situation where people are not going to be able to talk to each other in large forms. You have to do this little state by state or little groupings, groupings, groupings. Maybe that's what we have to do. But what we have to do is basically get rid of the system that, that, that says that everybody has to be this type of middle class person, which, which is a, basically you're, you're whipping out. You know what I mean? There are no, there are no warriors. There, are no, there is no, no uh, change in this system. The, ch the changes make you have become a status quo, a, 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 a single entity under what under what mentality is, 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 the, is the question. So this whole uh, banning and, and all the rest of this stuff in the name of what? In the name of uh, a homogenous, a, a peaceful, whatever society? Well, you're wrong. 
you know? Because all you're doing, all they're really doing is saying that the the, the, the cigar smoking, you know, uh, I guess they don't, whatever they do, that, that's, uh, that, that is what you want to aspire to. You don't want to do anything else. And then nobody else can mix it or affect that kind of thing. Okay? So I know this has been going on for a while. Sorry. But this uh, whole, I mean, people, we have to put this into perspective. This, this is not just about a banning of this, banning of that. We are the, we, the, the, the state, if you will, the, the, the government of the United States is giving all the powers to corporations so that, they, so that the government uh, and the government can negotiate with those, with those, with those uh, right. corporations which, they, which, which is funded by tax dollars, is given break by tax dollars. Come on, you think that, 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 that uh, 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 the Facebooks and, 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 the, and the Googles and mm -hmm. even the, the, the Tesla, well, if, if they don't have government contracts, you cannot, they can't exist. If they don't have money from the from the used parts of money to, to get to, to some rocket in the thing, you can't exist. So anyway, uh, this this is going to be quite interesting. What happens, especially well, it's going to be quite interesting. What happens? This it's interesting. It's going to be interesting at least to me. T from the Panthers is taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect from a desk of the ADOS, yeah. the American Descendants of Chattel Slavery.